Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 13 of my full platinum walkthrough for Dark Souls 2, Scarlet of the First Sin. So, we've been doing farming. We're not, I haven't done it anymore since, so we're straight on from the end of the last uh, episode. We're going to go and do Drang Lake Castle. This is the midpoint, for me, of the game. The reason I say that, that, this is the point that we need to get to in the third playthrough, so the half playthrough. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, we're going to go back to the Shady Woods and then go to Drang Lake. I'm just going to change my shield over there. I, didn't, uh, I just realised I didn't actually change it at the end of the previous episode with everything else. So if you're lucky, you'll actually get some uh, gold medals here. If you still need them, of course. You may have done all 30 by this point. But I do not, of course. Because that would be too easy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's going to take a while, unfortunately, with these, uh, these gold medals. Um, there is another... Um, helmet, it's not really a helmet, it's the symbol of avarice, it's basically you wear a mimic on your head um, that gives you extremely high uh, item discovery, I think it's 100 from just that item alone um, it's in one of the DLCs, it would involve us going quite far into one of the DLCs which we're not going to do uh, I will kind of explain where it is later on if you need it um, but while wearing it you also lose health, like a constant drain of health the whole time it can be negated with certain rings and spells, but um, yeah, I'm not going to use it. It's, it may help, but it's just just go for it. I mean, it's it's all down to luck and RNG anyway. Um, even having that might not help that much. So yeah, we'll just do it the way we're doing it. It's, we've got enough uh, item discovery to help us through it. So yeah, invisible guy there. Make sure you get, uh, watch out for him. And then we're going to get to this gate here. So this is I'm going to bring this up. This is Shrine of Winter. Um, you're going to see me bring up a menu here in the top right hand corner. You can see 746,113. That's my soul level. If that was at 1 million, this door would open without me lighting all the primal bonfires. That's the door I was talking about very early on in this guide. So on New Game Plus, if you uh, earn another 2, 2 million souls from the start of New Game Plus, uh, so you could farm bosses, etc., um, then that will open without lighting any of the primal bonfires. So it is a cumulative um, total. If you die, then your souls still count towards that. And then in New Game Plus Plus, you would need 3 million. So you'd need to start again. Uh, every time you start the, the game, you need, you need a fresh amount plus another million. So, um, yeah, some people like to farm it for New Game Plus Plus and... Uh, I just don't think it will take so long. <laughs> it's just as quick just to run through, uh, kill the bosses we need to kill, and uh, just get through it. It'll take a couple of hours uh, with the path that I'm going to use. So, yeah, I mean, I will give you that option, of course, and then you can you can try it if you want. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to run through it nice and quick. So in Drang, Drang Lake Castle now, pretty much, we're just going to go over this hill here. These guys, if you just wait under here, they'll eventually bring their, their swords out and then come and get you. Which obviously makes it easier than running after them. There is another one up the stairs, so if you do run up the stairs, he'll uh, turn up behind you if you're not careful. But these are the main sort of enemies for this place. One of uh, a couple of main enemies, anyway. They are simple enough. Uh, directly around this corner, you're going to see me get a crystal lizard. Uh, you might want to get this one. It's going to drop a titanite slab. Plus a bunch of chunks, so it's definitely worth grabbing. Yeah, three chunks and uh, one slab there. And uh, here's the Ancoli with the Firekeeper. I know she's not, I've forgotten her name. Firekeeper to me. If you speak to her, well, speak to her anyway, just exhaust the dialogue. She's not going to have much to say, really, just kind of carry on doing what you're doing. <laughs> uh, so that's all. You're going to see there's two Mastodons here at the top or the midpoint of the stairs. Just run past them. Take, what, taking one of those guys on at a time is fine. They're really easy. But two, not so much, especially with the long reach. Uh, and then we're going to run up here and get this guy on the left-hand side. There's two guys with crossbows. Uh, and then you can see there's like a giant statue behind him. A statue of a giant. You can see his souls didn't come to me. They went to the giant. So you're going to see that these guys' souls will come to me as I kill them. Uh, the others went to that giant. These are the things that open the gate. So you want to bring this one over here and do the same. Bring, kill it near the giant, basically. That's probably a bit too far away, so I'm going to bring him back. 
and then kill him. So those two that, that turned up from the left hand side, they will always keep respawning. So uh, if you do need them, they will keep coming. These statues here, a couple of these will come to life if you go near them. So don't go near the edge near those statues. Uh, once you've done that, once you've got the, the souls inside the locks, then uh, come around here and get great combustion. This is a pyromancy we need. This, in New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus, this is one of the more difficult things to do, is get through this door. It might look really simple now, because we just did it in like two seconds, but there's a um, an invader up here in New Game Plus, New Game Plus Plus, and he's a tough one. So, uh, yeah, doing that is a, a bit of a thing. It's kind of a, a suicide mission. But uh, we'll do it, don't worry. Uh, this guy here, you're going to see me get interrupted while talking to him. This hasn't happened before. <laughs> so one of them did come up. This is one of the kind of infinite spawn ones. Usually they don't come into the castle here like this. <laughs> but he decided to do so. So you can see just a faint outline. There is a guy here. This guy is the reason that we need to do a half playthrough. He's going to sell us two spells in New Game Plus Plus only. So, um, yeah, this is the whole reason we need to come to this point. This is the end point of the, the game. This is where we will finish. Um, so he does have a couple of... Uh, uh, he has one. Great magic barrier. Don't bother. We'll get that later on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... He sells an infinite amount of repair powder. So I'm going to just um, buy a load. I think it's like 15 that I buy. They're 2,500 each, which is a lot, yes, but... I'm probably going to do this, and this will last us all the way through uh, to the end of the game, the, the Platinum. Obviously, when using souls, don't <laughs> don't crush one of the boss ones. Uh, so, yeah, buy as many as you think you may need. I buy, what do I get? 14. So, I've got 14, plus the ones we already have. So, I've got 18 in total. Uh, I think, there's, yeah, we do we pick up five later on as well. So, plenty, but if you are using the same weapon as I do, you may get caught out now and again and need to use it. So, you want to make sure you have plenty of it on you. Uh, so go to the left hand side underneath the stairs here uh, get this first um, royal guard type thing uh, these are the other kind of main enemy for this area and then go here and get the sublime bone dust which is obviously going to strengthen our estus flask and we'll uh, do that later on we'll also get the final estus flask shard in this area so uh, yeah no more we'll get to 12 estus uses and no more after that so that corridor, you can actually run down that, but two more of the statues will come to life. If you go underneath the stairs here and uh, come out the other side, you'll just get this one. And uh, get rid of him, and this is the way we're actually going to continue. The other doors don't actually open. You may notice on the, the right-hand side there are doors. They don't open. And this is, a, again, this is a, well, this, the suicide sort of thing. <laughs> we'll be doing a New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus is getting down here and getting to the bonfire as quickly as possible in case you die because the invader will follow you, the one that turns up uh, while you're opening the door so you can't speak to Welliger, the, the sort of ghost apparition guy uh, and buy the stuff because the, the uh, invader will come and kill you while you're doing it so we need to run down here and quickly open these doors and it is a, <laughs> it's a rush for your life and uh, get this one open, there's a bonfire on this one here and then you can just die, because we're not going to be bothered too much about dying in New Game Plus, and especially New Game Plus Plus. We're not going to be after souls or anything like that, it's just kamikaze run to the end of the game. <laughs> Hit bonfires and just get there. Uh, because there are a lot of new enemies and uh, invaders and things, red phantoms in the game, in New Game Plus and Plus Plus. So this is a death room, essentially. <laughs> So these doors, you can see, you may just see, they have an outline of a giant in them. The same th thing applies here. If you just kill an enemy near them, the door will unlock. Behind each of these doors, apart from the first one on the right, uh, there is a uh, sentinel. So if you remember the ruined sentinel bosses where there was three of them, there's one of those guys behind each of these doors. So you want to open only open a select couple of doors. But you may find that... Um, you may accidentally open one as well. So I'm kind of guiding them around. I, this is the most important door that I'm here. The third one on the left. So I want to kill this guy near it. You can see his soul leave and enter the door there. Which will open it. And there is going to be a ruined sentinel on the other side. So these guys always respawn. These aren't bosses. These are actually enemies now. So every time you enter this room. These guys will be here. If you've sat at a bonfire. 
So if you go to that bonfire and just want, casually wander in this room again, all of the doors will still be open and all of the sentinels will still will be back to life. So you could, uh, if you opened all the doors, just randomly have five sentinels running after you, uh, plus the other little guys, the statues. So that's not cool. So in this room, do not go to the back there. You can see it's kind of broken. We'll fall through that floor later. So fighting that ruined sentinel, stay near this front door here. Uh, I have accidentally opened that other door. You can see there with the sentinel's soul, it kind of floated through the wall. That may happen. Just don't walk near the middle of the uh, the area. Uh, and just come over here now if you don't want the royal soldiers ring plus one then you don't need to come and open this door but the royal soldier ring plus one uh allow gives you plus 15 percent equipment load instantly as you're wearing it so it can be really good for strength builds and if you're heavy or anything like that uh, if you want to put big armor on or something like that um yeah, so it is worth grabbing if you are sort of want to go heavy at any, any point. Uh, don't worry about hitting the chest, it's a metal one so it won't break. So it is worth just grabbing this, it, it, it might come in handy, you never know. But it's not essential for trophies or anything, obviously rings aren't in this one. Yeah, he knocked me around a bit, but there you go. And then I'm going to stay across the top, you can see it's lit up in there now. Uh, I did actually get one of the the giants on the the back wall. Uh, there's two of them. If you put a soul in either of them, they'll hold up a lamp and light the room up. Obviously, you don't need to do that. So I'm back in the first one now. I'm just checking the sentinels. So that if you drop down down here, the sentinels will follow you, and that's not good because there's one of these guys down here as well. So you want to quickly drop down and uh, kill this one. Make sure you're not being followed. And uh, grab this. This is the Farum armor. This is the armor I'm going to wear for the rest of the game. I will start slowly adding it as my equipment load goes up uh, by improving my vitality. Uh, yeah, and this is Dark Diver. I forget his actual name, Dark Diver something. Uh, so speak to him for now. He's the sec This is the second time we've met him. Uh, the third time is in a locked door in Black Gulch, so we'll go back there. So what we need, that's another covenant, basically. And we need to go to three different sort of areas. The, the thing next to him is a teleporter. So we need to go there, and we will do that later. We'll do them all in one go. Um, we can join the Covenant once we've met him three times. So we've met him twice now, uh, once in the Shaded Woods, once just now, and then there's once in Black Gulch where that locked door was above the Giants. So we'll do them all in one video, get them done, and then there's a quite hard boss at the end. So we will leave it till near the end, and then once we're all leveled, got the high armor, what have you, then we'll do it. But there's a, a bonfire right next to it, so we're, we're fine. We can just teleport straight in. Uh, yeah, so you can see I'm just kind of messing around with the armor, seeing what my weight limits were. So I've only really got the helmet and the, the leggings at this point, which is fine. I'll just slowly start adding it. Usually the gauntlets are the last thing I put on because uh, they are weirdly the, not the heaviest, but they <laughs> just the, yeah they um, take up a lot of weight, uh, not necessarily needed either. This guy manages to not... I get stuck in this corner here. I can't get through him at all. This is not supposed to happen. So this is actually the way you need to go. You can see this door's open. There's no sentinel behind this one. This is the uh, the path onwards. The other two doors, the first one on the left has nothing. The second one on the left has a... I think it's a Ferris Lockstone. And then the second one on the right has... A sword, I want to say a Mastodon sword or something like that. If you want to grab them, go for it, but it's nothing we need. Frozen Flower, that is the key to one of the DLC areas to get into the DLC, so make sure you grab that. And uh, yeah, don't worry, there's none of the big statues in here will come to life. You might get the occasional small one, but you'll be able to handle those easily enough. Just listen out for them changing. And on we go, yeah, don't worry, none of these come to life, you'll be fine. There's going to be one at the top of the stairs. That stuff there is not lava. It's the stuff that wrecks your equipment. Uh, there is an Elizabeth Elizabeth mushroom in there. So if you want to get that for any reason. I think it's the item directly ahead of you. You saw there. Just make sure you take all of your armor and rings off. If you dive in there. It won't hurt you obviously. But it will wreck your equipment. Uh, in here I'm going to open the door first. All of these 
when you open this chest will fire out uh, poison arrows which you're going to see me kind of jump towards the door we've just gone through it is a straight line you can see there's a straight line there uh, it will, you will get instantly poisoned if it hits you uh, it's twinkling tide tonight so if you don't need twinkling tide tonight maybe don't bother and then hold your shield up as you leave right in here you want to take it slowly one at a time don't want to wake all three up at the same time they all wake up and they're really easy to backstab if you go to their shield shoulder rather than the back so that you can see I, I wasn't really at his back I was at his shoulder when I got him then and that's kind of where the hitbox is for backstabs on these guys yeah you can see it's his shoulder it's hardly his back you may notice there was a painting off to the other side uh, Queen Nishandra a big old painting uh, don't go near it you'll get cursed it's really quick build up as well um, yeah, so I'm going to show it you in a minute. Just don't go near it. You are okay on the other side of the wall, but if you stand directly in front of you, you get, will get curse build up really quickly. That painting there. So go this far and don't go any further. That one there. So you are okay on the other side of it. Luckily, because that's where we need to go. And uh, yeah, we're nearly at the first boss here. I'm just going to run all the way up here. So you're going to get Nameless Usurper. They will invade you. Just run all the way up here. None of the other enemies will follow you up here. But the uh, Nameless Usurper will. Meaning that you can do them one on one. Very, very easy invader this one. You just have a couple of daggers. You should be able to uh, kill them without even taking any damage. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. <laughs> yes, just. And that's Queen Nishandra in that room there, but I'll just show you where another bonfire is quickly. Or as quickly as I think I can. That's unfortunate. <laughs> he was supposed to die. There is a big guy to the left and a little guy as well. The big guy might come up the stairs, he might not. You should be okay. Uh, and then we're going to go down this little ladder here you may have missed. And there's going to be one of these statues will come to life and then there's an invisible wall. Now there is another ladder down again, if just to this kind of behind me, uh, uh, directly behind me now basically. Uh, just to the left now, I'm not looking at it at all. <laughs> so behind where I am now, as I walk towards this, there's another ladder there directly in front of me. Um, there's another chest down there, I always forget to go and get it because it's not important to me, but there's a crossbow with some bolts in a chest down there if you need them that's all there is there's another enemy but you'd basically be, be above uh, that acid pool from before so if you need it go and get it uh, the reason I sat at the bonfire then was to repair my weapon by the way I could probably just run past all of these it doesn't look like they actually come to life well he does but yeah the stone the the little guys don't seem to come to life if you're not in front of them, which I thought was quite strange. Maybe it's as you run past them. I'm in trouble with this one. There we go. See, so yeah, unfortunately, you may have noticed by now you don't get health back when you uh, backstab, even though it's only a small amount. So yeah, they must change once you kind of run past them or when you're at the bottom. Now we're going to do the boss, the Twin Dragon Riders. We do have a summon for this one, thankfully. Uh, even though, that, having said that, it's still fairly simple with uh, on your own. So, Exhaust, Queen Nassandra, Nassandra, Nassandra. <laughs> Exhaust her dialogue. Anyway. We have no need for two rulers. That's an important line. Um, yeah, do a backup save if you want. Uh, I'm going to just quickly do one because I'm kind of habit. <laughs> so do quickly do one. Come back in and then get the summon here. Uh, Pilgrim Belle Claire. She's the one that helped us with the Ruin Sentinels. So there's two, obviously, twin Dragon Riders. There's two Dragon Riders. One on the floor, one up high on the left-hand side. Uh, you can bring the one on the left-hand side down straight away. He's going to be firing Great Bow the whole time. So there's one ahead of me and there's one up there. 
if you run to the left here and make this guy hit this uh, platform, it'll bring the second one down. Now you may think that's uh, not a good thing to do, and you're probably right, especially if you're on your own. Um, but the second one, the one with the bow, has a lot less health than the first one, probably half the health. So um, getting rid of him is fairly straightforward, especially if you can get Belle Claire to take the attention of the other one, which she is not doing right now. Uh, but the, the second one will eventually drop anyway once you get the first one's health uh, down to half and he will bring out uh, a similar weapon so they'll both be hitting you with melee. If you smash the thing and bring him down now he'll just do a bow the whole time so he's a lot easier to kill. You can see they're pretty easy there. And then you can go for this one. Um, well, not solo but he is. Which obviously makes it easier. But just circle around the shield arm and you should be fine. Apart from that, even if they do hit you, it doesn't hurt that much. Making a bit of a mess of this, really. This is <laughs> should be really easy. And done. No, he's got a big old shield, so if you do hit his shield, you're going to bounce off it, potentially. Uh, and that's going to definitely be a thing with the next boss, the uh, the Mirror Knight. So there we go. Fairly simple. Shouldn't have a problem with those two. And then we'll have Ben Hart here. So make sure you go and speak to Ben Hart. Exhaust his dialogue. Uh, if you want to, you can go back and level up. I'm not going to myself. I'll just repair the weapon and carry on. Uh, yeah, so fully exhaust the dialogue with Ben Hart. And then we're going to go and open up the lift. So we are nearly at the end of the area. We've just got to sort of go up and down a bit to get this lift working. So watch out for the hole there. Don't go down it. And climb this long old ladder. And then we're going to enter another room with um, a bunch of statues and a giant at the back. Which we need to uh, put a soul into. <laughs> so we'll do that. And that will get this lift working. We mean we go all the way up to the top. Get the key. Uh, and then carry on. So there is a ghost here. These are a new enemy we've not seen. They do appear occasionally. Uh, they'll always be in the same place. They're kind of stuck to the wall. So uh, yeah, as you're trying to get through that wall, uh, Dory will try and hit you. Quickly run back. So go down the stairs, quickly run back. And this is the giant we need to uh, activate. It is two of these guys. I hate these ones. <laughs> Especially if we get that combo. I don't know why I went for the knockback there. Managed to do it without getting killed for once. So yeah, once he's activated, he will start turning that and the lift will uh, will come down to the bottom. So we're going to circle right round and go up the lift that way. Because you can't go back through that door, which you may have noticed. But there are some sorceries and pyromancies here that we need to grab anyway, so it's no problem. Plus the final Estus Flask Shard. Soul Great Sword. Definitely need to get that. And then uh, Cell Sword, Louis, Louie, Louit. Not particularly use, uh, useful. He's probably the most useless of all the summons, to be honest. But he's good as a distraction for this big horse. Which I have no idea why it's here. Uh, but it is. So try and stick to the side of it. I'm going to try and double hand that. I. I thought it was doing a different attack, but it reared up. It moved forward to rear up and kick me, which I was not expecting at all. So yeah, just let's uh, Louie take the, uh, the brunt of it. That's all he's kind of useful for. Look at him, he just, he just doesn't do anything. Even, <laughs> even when he is near it, he doesn't attack, he just gets kicked in the face. It's going to get me. No, time this completely wrong. There we go. Uh, yeah, so don't be tempted to run up the stairs either because there are big enemies up there we will need to go up and get in a minute. So you kill this, you're going to get the Gower's Ring of Protection. This helps with backstabs. I believe that's the backstab ring. Uh, so we might use that later in the in New Game Plus um, in the Shaded Woods. This one's the most difficult, the one with the club. But there are one each on each side that have a sword. Uh, Cell Sword Louis, Loet, whatever his name is. He'll leave at this point once you kill that one. But there are two more. So you want to quickly just kind of kamikaze and kill this one if you can. Uh, nice and quick. 
Uh, it's worth just taking the damage, just get rid of it, because you can see the other one will come after you straight away, and you don't want two of these guys together in this narrow bit up here. And they should only take four hits with this. And then there's going to be Petrified Dragon Bones, so I think I need two more of those after uh, after this video's finished to fully upgrade the weapon. But this is a Mimic, so kind of stay, hit it, and then kind of stay away from it. Even if you're at the side, that grab can still get you. And then once it's sprung forward, just finish it off. You can use the Silver Talisman to put them back to sleep. So as it's waking up, throw one at it, it'll put it back to sleep and you'll still get the items. But it's just as easy to kill it, to be honest. And then on this side, which is where the other guy came from, the other giant, you'll get the Firestorm Pyromancy, so this is the most important part. There we go. So, let's uh, circle round. We'll go and get that final Estus Flask Shard. There's going to be two Pyromancers in this room. The the female ones from um, Earthen Peak. So they can be quite dangerous if you're not ready. There's a Gargoyle and a guy up there. I will go and get them. I will go and kill them. The Gargoyle will give you a Twinkling Titanite if you do it. If you're not bothered about that, probably just don't kill it. Uh, yeah, so you want to kind of time it and just look for which one gives you the opening and go for it. But yeah, don't just run into them because they do have that burst attack that will kill you in one. Uh, and at the bottom of the stairs, I will show you, there is one of those ghosts that comes out of the wall as well. That was quite an interesting drop for, for her there. There he is. So if you do back into that corner, he'll get you. Lovely surprise. Five repair powder here, that's important. And the flame butterflies, to be honest. If you need some torches. And then in here is Esther's Flask Shard number 11. So that's going to give us 12 uses in total. And this is the way out. Well, I'll just quickly go up and show you where the gargoyle is. If you want to get the Twinkling Titanite for your weapon. If you're upgrading one with that. That door doesn't open, so don't worry about that. This guy should be fairly easy. He just drops off the edge anyway. <laughs> he had no health, but never mind. Uh, yeah, and this, this, there's no other reason to do this from what I can find. Um, I did come up here and just kill them in case they appear somewhere later on, but there is literally no, nothing else up here. Uh, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's to skip... Uh, the room with the, the the pyromancers in because you could drop down the other s side I suppose but I mean you want to go in there and get the stuff anyway I don't know why this guy gave me so much trouble <laughs> it was the lock on at the beginning throwing me all over the place right uh, so yeah he should give you a twinkling titanite hopefully and then I suppose you could drop off the edge and that's kind of maybe just cut this room out Yeah, maybe that's what it's for. I don't know. And then we're going to run down. We'll be back at the, bamf uh, the bonfire. The bonfire. So if you sit here, ben, uh, ben Hart will disappear. You'll see him disappear. I haven't edited. He's just disappeared. Uh, that is because he you've spoken to him fully. Uh, he will be available to summon for the next boss fight, which is important. It is needed for his trophy. So this will be the second fight we've done with Ben Hart. So I'm just this is a really long lift ride, so I've just cut that out. And then at the top here, you can find a very strange setup. <laughs> uh, so there is a key that will open this gate. It's actually a key sword, uh, and there's a there is a prisoned woman in there. Uh, she will give you a ring that we don't particularly need. I think it's the ring that means yeah, it's the ring that makes you look human even if you're not human. Which is okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, a few interesting things up here. So we've got a uh, strong magic shield, fire seed if you need that, a soul vessel if you want to remap your stats, and then most importantly the key there. So long lift ride down. I'll cut that out as well. And then we're going to go all the way to the bottom and uh, carry on to the King's Passage. So yeah, just one more. 
uh, boss fight and then we're done with this area that's uh, Drang Lake Castle done so this is actually King's Passage for what it's worth but it's uh, the same place essentially and then after that we've got probably the, the area I hate the most to be honest thinking about it I really dislike it uh, knee high water it looks great it looks like it's quite a nice area to look at but it's knee high water and invisible drops it's it's not a fun and then really quite frustrating enemies especially in new game plus when you have to run through it so yeah the re you saw me activate these guys and then run back and try and take them on one at a time or try to anyway Lowering schools back here if you need them. Titanite slab, that's a rare drop. <laughs> you more than likely will not get that. And then the rest of these are fine. There's just the four. You can see nice people have marked each of them. <laughs> Bit late by that point, but never mind. On the side here is going to be a summon. We don't need that one. We're going to need Ben Hart, so I'm going to do a backup save. Because you need to make sure Ben Hart survives this fight. And he can die fairly easily if you don't keep on top of it. Not a difficult fight really. But Ben Hart can die if he gets uh, caught up. So yeah, there's the other one. If you want to bring it in, go for it. But you don't want to give this guy more health than he has already. With just bringing Ben Hart in. So he will always do that lunge. So he has that big mirror shield there, uh, the Looking Glass Knight. Was I calling him the Mirror Knight? Yeah, the Looking Glass Knight. <laughs> uh, yeah, with that mirror shield he has. Um, so that th hitting that shield will just you'll just bounce off it every single time. You can't cut through it. So if you see, I'm doing R2 attacks instead because they are they come from the top and go straight down the middle rather than uh, being swung from the left or right. Uh, and I'd advise you do the same. Uh, use an attack that comes from the top rather than the uh, the right hand side. If it comes from the left then you're probably okay. But uh, yeah, just watch out for these attacks and just a sweep. And then just run in, get an R2, couple if you can. You can see Ben Hart's not actually taken any damage yet, which is weird. He's usually taking quite a bit of damage by now. Has he even been hit? I don't think he's been hit yet, has he? No, you see, you can bounce straight off it. You don't cut through it. There, you've been hit now. You cut straight through it. Uh, you can't cut straight through it. About halfway through the health or so, he will slam his mirror down, his mirror shield down, and um, an NPC will come out. <laughs> there you go. But if you're on it straight away, you can just kill it really quickly. There we go. And then just go back to R2s and... Killing him as quickly as possible. Very simple fight if you have a summon with you to take all the attention away from you. So you can see he takes a lot of damage. So if you if you mess around and don't do this quickly enough, Ben Hart can die. But you will also get something that's quite rare. A trophy. <laughs> you don't get that many in this game. And of course his soul as well. So that's uh, Drang Lake Castle done. For the most part, we need to come back and do that uh, the Dark Diver stuff, but that's it, really. Uh, there was the entrance to the King as well, but that's late game stuff. We need to go and get the key to open that up. But the, essentially where that first bonfire was, uh, make sure you grab this soul bolt, soul bolt there as well. Uh, where that first bonfire was, there was a door to the left as you come out the, the little bonfire room. That's actually the end of the game, but we need to go and get a key because, of course, we do. And it's quite a, a journey, to be honest. And uh, here we are in the next area, Shrine of Alma, Al Alama, ma, ma, ma. you'll see it in a minute, <laughs> it'll come up. Green Blossom here if you want it, which is extra stamina, which is not something I'm ever going to use. And then we're going to run into this area. Yeah, I don't like this area, <laughs> I really don't. Uh, yeah, Shrine of uh, Amana. Amana, let's go with that. Uh, yeah, there's just one sort of direct path. You can just see it off in the distance there. And then there's just water to the other side with pure drops. So you need to be careful. Uh, you can see there's quite a bit of video left. Four minutes or so. I'm just going to be doing lots of cleaning up. I'm going to do leveling. Trying to get that uh, armor. Um, level up armor a bit as well. 
So I'm going to use the bonfire aesthetic we got earlier. I'm going to also use the Estus Flash Shard a little later. But uh, I'm going to go and try and um, level up some armor here. See what we can do. See if I have enough for this, the uh, weapon as well. But I do not. I need another two, I think. Yeah, so two more. We'll get them. If you're using the same one as me, that is. Uh, so yeah, the, the, I have currently have the helmet and the leggings on. I will actually be able to use the armor as well in a moment. So I'm just going to fully upgrade it. I have no other use for titanite shards, large, large titanite shards, titanite chunks, or titanite slabs. So I'm just going to fully upgrade, eventually, all of the armor I'm going to keep. Which is the Farum armor here. I fully upgrade the helmet there. Use a titanite slab because why not? I don't use it for anything else. Uh, I'm actually going to go and purchase. So I will go back to the um, the lady here that sells the, the stones. She will sell an infinite amount of uh, normal titanite and large titanite now. But I'll, uh, I'll just level up and see if I can get this armor on. And of course use the shard. Spoiler alert, I do have enough <laughs> to put the armor on. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be putting it in Vitality. So this does HP, Equipment Load, and Physical Defense to a small degree. Uh, but yeah, I just want to get this armor on. I have no... You obviously can go... If you're worried about strength or health or whatever, you don't need to do this. You can just put it on whatever you like. If you're a magic build, do it in magic, obviously. Intelligence. And then I just like to have this set up. It's kind of... Uh, yeah, the gauntlets are heavy. I'm not able to use them. And I'm going to crush a few souls here. Obviously not boss ones. Uh, just to purchase some um, titanite. To uh, upgrade the armor. It's kind of what I've been saving them for. is just to, So you can do this all in one time if you want. Uh, poison and bleed stone if you need those. Uh, yeah, she should have an infinite amount of titanite and large titanite now. Eventually um, chunks as well I believe. Or definitely a, a set amount of chunks. So I'm just going to buy a few and just do as many levels as I can with what I've bought. So 15 and 10. So I do have the armor now. Might as well do that. Do we get all the way with this one? I think we get up to chunks. I don't think I have any more chunks left. Yeah, so we've got no chunks. I'm running out of souls here. Not often you have to do this in this game. For the most part, most of the armor and things like that. Don't matter too much, but if you have nothing else to spend your titanite on and your souls on, I mean, why not? Uh, we're almost, we're already over level 100, so yeah, we're good. <laughs> you can see it's it's marginal. The state is going up. The stats are going up. All the uh, the it is more protection, but um, it is marginal. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, on to that place I really don't like and can't say next in the next video. Uh, I will be doing some uh, farming in between the two videos and I'll let you know at the beginning of the next video how much I've done. Right, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.